Hey guys, it's going? It's Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to continue the Unity 3D Editor Fundamentals and I want to introduce you to a new tool called the Package Manager. So you probably heard of the Asset Store and with the Asset Store you can purchase or you can download free content for other people that have created that content for you and basically the idea is that it allows you to optimize your time and you can reuse assets that other people are creating. So the package manager is similar to it, but with regards to this is more of a Unity store, meaning that they are providing you with packages that are not basically for sale. They're basically part of the product that Unity provides and it has basically their own versioning system. So they might release preview versions, release versions, but the package manager is basically a central location for you as a developer to download packages that Unity provides. So if you need to access the package manager, you can go and click on window and then package manager. And in this scene, I, I already have a few things installed. So you can see that I have a check, a check mark next to what I already downloaded as a package manager. Some things are already out of the box by Unity. So like the ads, I didn't have to download. So I have a check box on that. So that tells me that I have that package installed. You can also click on this and it'll tell you in project what packages are in the current project. So you can say, okay, I have ads in the project. I have the analytics library in the project, inner purchases. Also, I'm using the lightweight rendering pipeline for this project. I'm using Magic Leap because this is a game that I'm building for augmented reality. I have a package manager UI, quick search, shader graph, and then a lot of different packages that I'm, that I'm using. So, Let's say that you decide later on and you say, okay, I need a new package because, you know, Unity provides it and I need it for my project. And for instance, let's say that you need it to start modeling and prototyping different things, different 3D models in your, in your game. So you can go ahead and click on all packages. And if you scroll down through here, there's something called Prop Builder and Prop Builder is a tool that Unity provides for basically doing 3D modeling inside of inside of Unity. So I'm not gonna go too into Pro Builder itself, but I wanna show you that you can download it from the package manager. And the other thing that you can do is you can also look at all the versions. So let's say that for whatever reason, the latest version was, was having problems with the version of your game, you can easily revert to a previous version. So for this instance, I could say, okay, I want to download the latest one, or I may want to download a, a previous version because it has a new feature. So you can also click on the advanced and, and then click on show preview packages. And that's going to show you packages that are not released yet for, I guess, production ready. But you can still download them and try them out. So you can see the Magic Leap is in preview 16. And then once they're very, you know, once they've been tested and they're more stable, what Unity does, they go from preview to more of a, you know, production ready package. So if you don't want to see preview packages, you can click on that to toggle it. And now you can kind of see that it only shows packages that, ha that are production ready. It shows a couple of preview ones because those are the ones that I already installed. Otherwise, it wouldn't show those. So if I want to go back to show preview packages, I can click on it as well. I can also click here and look at dependencies. So for instance, this one doesn't have any dependencies, but if I, if I keep going up, so it looks like Polybrush has a dependency on com.unity settings manager. And this is a dependency that it has. So that's really helpful when it comes to, you know, trying to find out what dependencies you have. See, Mathematics doesn't have any dependencies. Looks like the Lightweight Rendering Pipeline has three different dependencies. One is the post-processing, the core RP render pipeline library, and shader graph. So the way that this is going to work is when you install it, if it has dependencies, it's actually going to download those dependencies as well. So you won't need to install post-processing after the fact. So this works very similarly to how NuGet works. If you're, if you're familiar with NuGet or any, any other package, you know, package manager technology. So let's say that you need, you need a pro builder. So let's go ahead and install pro builder and see how, how that process works. So if I go ahead and click on install, so that's going to go ahead and, you know, communicate with the Unity package repository and then download everything to your computer. So the other thing that I can show you how this works is what is it doing behind the scenes? And let me actually do that. So if I do an LSLA on this, on this directory, 
And instead of doing it through the command line, let's go ahead and do, I'm gonna open Visual Studio Code. And let me show you what it's actually doing. So if I collapse everything on the project and I look at packages, you're gonna see this manifest.json file. And in the way that it works is just like NuGet works. You have a version, you have basically the, the package that you install, in this case, this is com.unity.ads. This is everything that is installed currently in this project. I can see the version that is installed. I can see, let's see if it did ProBuilder yet. And yeah, it looks like ProBuilder already installed. So I can see that ProBuilder is already installed and I can see, okay, this is the package name and this is the version name. So that's basically, you know, the whole list of everything that your project needs, which is gonna be, you know, if you're using source control, this is gonna get checked in with your project. And as soon as you open that project in a brand new computer or somebody else has that project, and they haven't never run it, what it's gonna do is gonna download all those different packages for them automatically. Just like it happens in .NET, if you use .NET and you do a .NET restore, it basically goes out and downloads all the different packages that are needed. So let's go ahead and go back into Unity. So it looks like it's still, it wasn't still installing. So now if I look at Pro Builder, and you can also search in here, I don't need to look through that list, I can type in Pro Builder. You can see that it already installed. So if I close out of it, now I should have an option to go into Pro Builder. So if I go to Tools, Pro Builder, I can click on Pro Builder window, and it's basically that's basically going to allow me to create. You know, if I wanted to create a new shape, I can create a new shape. So that package has been downloaded and it's running and it's running properly. So what if you wanted another package? You needed to revert that. Just like I said before, you can go go ahead and click on Window Package Manager and go into the version that you install. So I can either search and expand it. I can see all versions and I can select another version that I wanted to revert to and then just click on update to that specific version. So if I wanted something else, let's say that I wanted maybe the immediate window. Let's see if I can find that one. So if I want to download the immediate window, I can do the same thing. I can just select that. I can look at all the different versions that are available. Looks like Preview five is available, and also preview three, four, a greater version. So I can hit, I can hit install. That's gonna go ahead and install it, and we can probably see it here coming in the next few seconds. And looks like it's still going. There we go. So that's resolving. It looks like it. And there we go. So now we have the immediate window with the, you know, with the version that we install. And if we go back into Unity. And I haven't used the immediate window yet, so I will lie if I can tell you how it works. I think it's for the debugger. So if you wanna basically access variables during runtime when, when you're debugging, you can access those. So let me see if I can find that one. And if we can't find it, that's okay. We'll I'll cover that in another video. Let's do that in another video so that we can keep on, keep on track with the subject. So, that's basically what I wanted to show you guys, basically how package the package manager works. If you have, a, if you have any questions about what I just showed you, let me know. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions, let me know through the comments. Also, don't forget to check out gamedev.net. They have amazing resources for game developers that are either studying or have advanced experience in the field. Also, don't forget to check out my Patreon, which I'm using to fund this channel. Basically, I'm going to be looking for getting a video editor and that video editor professional is going to help me in editing the future videos. So Patreon is going to help me with that. So thank you very much for watching, guys.